Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. If you went to sleep early, you missed a snoozer between Primordis and newly converted members of Dive, who were able to force open the gates of Castle Brightwood just as the war entered the final period. Dive was able to get as close as 80%, but it was Primordis summoning the spirit of Brightwood Forest to hold out. The battle over medicinal and luxury goods versus animal rights came to a head last night in Ebbetscale, as conservation efforts by Sea and Panda to preserve the bamboo from deforestation for tea fields won out. Sea and Panda has assured the citizens receiving spa therapy that they will continue to enjoy medicinal herb, and issued a statement that read in part, Ebbetscale is Panda home. Defend with honor forever. But last night's action didn't stop there. Tonight, the Spice Wars for First Light continue as Dominion finds itself defending against the forces of Death's Wish. Silent since legitimately claiming the region of Morningdale, Death's Wish seeks to take control of the Land of Spice. After that, Dongfeng Express races into conflict with Blood of Elysian as they attempt to seize control of Windsward. Their marauding intentions? Perhaps they've been enticed by the advanced refining and workstation capabilities of Windsward. And for the title fight this evening, it's The Reckoning, invoking right of rematch for the region of Everfall. Elysian Kingdom will be going for their second straight Neverfall. The current record? Five by The Reckoning. All of tonight's combatants will be furnished with genuine LARPCO foam core simulated combat gear for tonight's events. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.